evening friends, your old friend Barncaster here. Tonight's video is, uh, let's say it was inspired by Jim on TDPRI. Um, I had to recently rewound this uh, Diamond Rhythm Chief 1000 pickup. And I'm very enamored with it. It's an incredible sounding pickup. And uh, Jim had asked me, do you think that, you know, we could apply some of the internal technology that I found in the Diamond Pup to a Telecaster neck pickup. You know, in Tele neck pickups, Tele's, you know, to most people are all about the bridge pickup. The necks, to a lesser extent. And um, so I wound um, a Tele neck pickup using um, the coil within a coil form. I didn't have Elnico two poles available to me. So I wound five, and the interesting thing with Alnico five, if it's a little bright for you, just turn down your tone control. Um, it's just, I think, uh, a lot more flexible magnet than an A2. Um, so anyway, I ended up uh, winding it again with 45 gauge, same as D-Armin. Um, it's a thinner coil, not as fat as D-Armin, almost by about half. So I knew it would be a little bit brighter. Um, and I put about the same number of winds, although it winds up being less wire because the Diarmid coil is actually thicker, um, has a bigger area to it. Um, so it ends up metering at about 11.95K, and inductance is about 2.7 Henry's, which is uh, probably twice what you see on a normal Telecaster neck pickup. It's got a little push, and its tone is, is very related. Now I'm thinking of winding another uh, with some either Alnico 2 or Alnico 4 rods, and believe it or not, there's a lot more room on the bobbin to get more wire in. So I can, um, I think, fatten it up even more and even more closely approach um, the Rhythm Chief's tonality. The Rhythm Chief has got about four and a half Henry's of inductance. So when you hit it with gain, I mean, the amps respond very, very quickly. Uh, the Tele, not quite as much, but still very well. Uh, surprisingly well, and I think with a few tweaks, um, we could really have something interesting here. But anyway, I'll shut up and uh, give you an idea of what we have here. This is, we'll start with the Rhythm Chief. This is everything wide open. goes wide open. I'll play it the same, but I will do, then I'll crack the tone down halfway, but first wide open. Now I'll back the tone down about halfway. Experiment in there. Okay, so now I'm going to go both back wide open and pop a little gain to it. And, and you remember the Diarmans. And the Tilly Neck. with the drumming. Now with the telly. Anyway, interesting. I think we're onto something quite interesting here. I think you can apply some of Harry's interesting coil within a coil manufacturing techniques. I also took great pains to magnetize each one of the poles of the telly pickup to the values that the Rhythm Chief has in it to try and approach the magnetic field. I know the shape is not the same because the rods are different diameters and whatnot, um, but it all definitely adds towards the specific tonality of the Rhythm Chief. thought you guys would appreciate it, and we'll have further developments soon. 
Have a good evening, folks. Bye.